Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 1956 Chevy 3100. So that's the half ton pickup truck sitting in gorgeous patina, just non painted. Hard to replicate that. You just have to let the uh, let sun, wind, time do its work, and it certainly has with this truck. So gorgeous truck. There's Mr. Nick. You can jump right in here. We just started the uh, uh, videoing of the patina truck. And so when this one came in, uh, you know, you could see the good bones, had a bunch of needs, and I'm gonna run through some of those needs that it did. So it's got a brand new windshield, and that's a new seal around that as well. So that's a gorgeous piece of wraparound glass, brand new rubber. No, no cracking on that whatsoever. The side glass and the passenger side was cracked. That needed to be done. It's got the uh, original steel wheels. But we went ahead and put some white walls on there. Those are radio white walls. All we did is w wash the truck. I can see a lot of people wanting to buff that, kind of bring it out to a higher sheen, and then possibly clear coat. I think it needs even more patina, so it's just washed, and it's raw stain, which is gorgeous. Cool thing on the interior is we made this really homey by, um, and it was the original seat. We just had it re-stuffed and re-covered, re-upholstered. We got a brand new floor mat down there. Nick took a bunch of photos. Looks like we already got a little dirt from our test drive, but, um, <laughs> Uh, great photos of the underside, just solid, solid metal, uh, new tank back there. You do have your sun visors. It's the straight six engine, three in the tree manual. So really clean, new headliner up there too. Did I say that probably like three times? Yeah, I think we said mentioned it. <laughs> it's got a headliner. I was real <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> but, uh, so the patina extends to the interior as well, but we've made it a real nice place to hang out and spend some time. And it does have a wood bed uh, underneath this piece of iron. But, uh, so if you want to restore that or put in a new wood bed, I've seen that go off plenty of times. The problem with that, you know, each to his own taste. But if you've got this brand new finished lacquered bed in there, then it's hard to use. Where this could still be dump runner, throw your mountain bikes in, <coughs> kegs, what have you, Nick. <laughs> Nick's a hockey player. More headliners. Yeah, you put a couple headliners back there. <laughs> uh, original bumper. And we've got good under photos of this. I would say this is a uh, mostly rust-free truck. Just on the passenger side, corner cab, uh, the, the cab box rear facing the bed. There's a little tiny bit of uh, pinholing. It looks like it's been there for a really long time. I mean, this metal is solid. It's not going anywhere. There's no rust down low. There's nothing bubbling out. No bondo, just sheer metal. So it's gonna, it's gonna hold up for another 60 plus years. Upgraded turn signal and all your lights, brakes, etc. We'll show those off. Uh, but those are working. I did show off the, uh, the front of the headline, or the uh, headliner here. I don't have a headliner. We're just gonna move away from that <laughs> all together. But there's a look at the uh, a look at the uh, the front. I saw this one uh, cruising down the road from the test drive, and um, I'm like, oh, somebody has a truck like ours. It just looks so much better, but just looks so. So phenomenal in motion. And then you've got a nice clean engine bay. There's that straight six. We'll turn it on, it just purrs. Clean battery, clean bay, all painted up. Yeah, just super clean. So you got the old patina on the outside. Underside is very stock, it's original. It's drum brakes, it's not disc brakes. I could see somebody doing the next level if you want to go there, drop in an LS engine, upgrade the suspension, disc brakes, 
but this is uh, that would be a forty thousand dollar truck, and this one we just wanted to keep as original as possible. We'll go ahead and fire it up. Take a take a listen. <coughs> Uh, yeah. They're it. They're in here. Yeah. Oh. Everybody, the headliner. Right up. Super quiet too. Runs it super super smoothly. Alright, we get another look at the lights, get the headlights. Left blinker. Right blinker. Brake lights. Brake lights. So we got the running lights, left blinker, right blinker. Just a couple things I want to point out in here is you do have the uh, foot start down there. They just have to turn the key, foot start. Does have a choke. And that's helpful right there. There's your light switch. What's nice is that your, you do have an RPM gauge, it's backlit. And then the turn signals too indicate on the inside. Uh, no, no wipers on this. I think we're gonna leave it just that clean look. So note that uh, no wipers in there. Uh, the glass just got replaced. So take a look at the under photos. So all the glass is really good, clean on it, including the rear. So hopefully that gave you a bit better of an idea of this truck. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Shep. I can be found at 208-721-1973. Feel free to reach out to Nick. Uh, my cell number is 563-676-8225.